designers, we can go through stale patches throughout our professional career. Whether that's feeling like you've ran out of ideas, you're questioning your passion for design, or you're starting to notice that a lot of your design work is getting really repetitive. All of this can start making you feel a bit meh. So in light of this, I thought I would share one thing that has truly helped me in the past when feeling like this, and it is something that can be done instantly. And that is using new and different fonts, mixing up your current font library that you've been working from, branching out, experimenting, and really trying something new. I'll also be setting a challenge at the end of this, so make sure you stick around. Now, switching up your font library is just one of many ways to get you out of that creative rut. The reason why I'm solely focusing on that today is that it can be done instantly. It can help ignite your creativity and really get the ball rolling again. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be sharing how changing up your font library can make you a better designer and really help get you out of that stale patch. Next, I'm gonna be going over three of my favorite free fonts. Yes, we all love a freebie and how they can be used throughout the design process. That way you can get straight to it after watching this video, download the fonts, and hopefully get rid of those negative feelings you have right now as a designer. So how exactly does changing up your font library help you as a designer? Well, first, it can help refresh your designs and prevent all of your work looking similar. We can all admit that we've been through a stage in our careers where we use the same four or five fonts because we are super comfortable with using them. This can result in design projects looking rather similar, and as designers, we want each piece of work, each creation and each project to be distinctively unique. Secondly, if you do a lot of typography manipulation, it will really help with this because you'll be using new fonts that you haven't previously worked with. Also, as your skills improve as a designer, it means you can start charging higher rates for your projects. Last but not least, using new and unique fonts can really help reignite your creativity. When exposing yourself to something new, it really helps with creative ideas and exploring different ways of thinking. So with all of that being said, let's now get into three of my favorite free fonts and their best uses. So our first free font is Chromate. Now this is a beautiful modern serif that has a really fierce and bold feel to it. Within its variety of characters you will see the geometric shapes and the thick serifs that combine beautifully to create a really strong typeface. I would probably use this font within logo designs, within headings and titles and possibly within advertising for high fashion brands. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some sort of brand or advertisement and show you exactly how I would use this free font. So after doing some research and getting to know the font a little better, the first thing that came to mind was creating a perfume brand. This is because of the fierce and the strong characters throughout the font, which represents exactly how you want to feel when you put on that perfume. Therefore, I have experimented and created a perfume brand called Vapor. It is powerful, strong, fierce and feminine, which complements each other really, really well. So using certain fonts can actually help with emulating certain feelings you want your audience to feel. Now, choosing the wrong font can actually mix up the feelings towards your audience, which is not what we want. So within this brand, the feelings that I get are elegance, power, strength, and independence. So I actually haven't got another font like this within my library. So this has opened up some creativity and allowed me to try out a style I haven't tried before. Let me know what brand you would choose with this font and if you think I chose the right brand. So the second free font that I'm gonna be experimenting with is a font called Garment District. Now this is a beautiful monoline script that has a really nice vintage inspired feel to each of the characters. Now sometimes script fonts can be a little overused and therefore lose the value and meaning behind the handwritten feel. So if you are using them, make sure you're not repetitively using them and it is just every so often. So whenever I use script fonts, it always leaves that personal feel and connection to the brand. 
So I would probably use this font within logo designs for a more vintage and old school brand because this font is a lot thicker and heavier. So what I'm gonna do is try and come up with a brand inspired by this font and hopefully do this font some justice. So I have created a brand called Full Circle and this typeface I believe truly represents the overall brand. It feels vintage, it feels rustic and the script feel creates a really nice handmade feel of the pizzas being made in a pizza oven. The feelings I get when I look at this brand are friendly, inviting, handmade and rustic. If a more stern font was used, I feel like it would have lost those specific feelings that the script font is giving us. So it is vital that you are creating those sorts of feelings within your brand. Once again, I barely ever use script fonts, so this has been a really nice test for me to experiment with a script font and see if I can do it any justice. Hopefully this has inspired you to do exactly the same. On the topic of experimenting with new things, I am always striving to get better with my design skills and really improve as a designer. And one thing that has helped me do this is using Skillshare. So this is an online learning platform for creatives just like us. So one platform that is my go-to is Adobe Illustrator when designing. And another platform that I wouldn't say is my strongest point is Adobe InDesign. Therefore, I've been taking the Adobe InDesign CC advanced training class by Daniel Scott, and it has taught me a lot of things that I didn't think were possible within Adobe InDesign. So if you feel like you need to get better at a certain platform or really improve your skills, I really recommend taking some classes, which is why I've teamed up with Skillshare to give the first 1,000 of my subscribers a 30-day free trial to all of their classes. Click the link in my description and let me know which classes you take. So last but not least, our final free font is a font called Chiv. Now this is a bold, grotesque sans serif typeface and I honestly adore this one so much that I will be using it in the future because of how sleek and powerful it feels. You will notice that within some of the letters there are unique shapes that add in a little bit of personality to the brand. For example, the curvature on the R creates a really friendly and inviting feel against the rest of the boldness. This font could probably be used within headings and body text, and of course, for logo designs. This is available in eight different weights, which makes it super versatile for us designers. So it is now my job to create a brand around this font and truly reflect it in the best possible way. So when thinking about this font and experimenting with it, the thing that comes to mind is creating a fashion brand, but nothing too high end that you would see in Vogue, maybe something a little less like a winter coats fashion brand. So the boldness of the font creates this like weighted and really heavy feeling, which is the exact feeling I get when you think of winter coats. Normally they are quite heavy and rather large. So the connection there works really, really well. I have therefore been experimenting and created a winter coat brand around this font named Grizzle. And I honestly feel like this font was made for this brand. So the font is really modern and fierce and complements this type of business. I really do love that strong feel within each letter, but then that unique curve within the R creates that really nice soft feel and inviting feel to the audience. So this challenge has actually been really insightful for me as a designer, because I have been able to come up with three incredible brands based around three free fonts. So I'm gonna set a challenge to all of you designers out there to go and download those three free incredible fonts and to challenge yourself to come up with brands that you think best represent those fonts. And if you do take part in the challenge, make sure you send your designs over to my Instagram account, send me a DM so I can see exactly what you've got up to and what brands you've created. So hopefully this video has inspired you to go and download some fonts to mix your font library up and work with fonts you wouldn't normally work with. This can really help push you out of that creativity block that you are in and really add some incredible work to your portfolio. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you at the next video.